So this is what we're going to go over then. So we're going to start off on the deadlift. Uh, me and Carl are going to go over that. And then once we've gone over the five points, we're just going to let you run free. And we'll just come around, give some tips, pointers, and make sure you're doing everything how we want it. Right, first off, let's just go through basic setup before we go through the five points. First just in one, case. Six point. Always chalk up. Six point, always chalk up. If you never use chalk, there's your added bonus straight away. Right, so first of all, we're just going to go through normal deadlift. So Carl's just going to walk up to the bar. He's just going to go feet shoulder width apart. So from there, all he's going to do is hip hinge down to the bar and slightly squat down as well. So the grip is just on the outside of your legs, okay? So then from there, he's just going to squeeze that bar as tight as he can and basically stand up as fast as he can. And then from there, you're just going to hip pinch. Once it's past your knee, squat down, return it to the floor, okay? Always return it to the floor. It's called a deadlift for a reason. It's because there's no, no momentum. You don't want to be bouncing it up and down all the time, okay? So let's just start off with the first point then. So a lot of people, you'll see them, when they grab the bar, they kind of just shrug it up rather than like that. Perfect example, okay? So once you put a bit of weight on that bar, if you're shrugging it up like that, sooner or later, you're going to get some form of injury, okay? So what we like to do is called taking the slack out of the bar. So if you listen carefully, when Carl pulls it in a minute, so he's basically pulling it off the floor, uh, pulling it without pulling it off the floor. So all that's doing is priming all your muscles in your back, getting your uh, grip ready to go, okay? And then from there, it's just going to help him explosively stand up. A lot smoother, okay? Got it? That's point number one, okay? Point number two is lats, okay? So a massive muscle running down the side of your back. Crucial in the deadlift, okay? So if you're not pulling that bar in tight using your lats, you're missing out on a big muscle that could help you lift more weight, okay? So all you've got to think is when you're in this bottom position down here, is that you're squeezing down here as tight as you can, okay? There's certain exercises you could do, say before you did a deadlift, for example. You all right? I just got just a bit flustered with you touching me. Don't do it in front of them. <laughs> so there's certain ones you can do. So you just like, you can, all you can do is pull a band. So for example, all you do, you just wrap it round. So this is just getting your lats primed and ready to go. So all you can do is just wrap it round. You can just do as simple as simple as sitting on the floor and basically pulling the band in and squeezing down the side there, okay? You can basically do that in between sets if you're someone who struggles with getting your lats involved, okay? So, point three is basically moving the bar as fast as you can, getting aggressive. You're all nice people, sometimes you're too nice. You gotta find an angry side, so say one day you come in and you hate what the music is, use that to take it out on the bar, okay? Think of something that's pissed you off that day. So some people, they'll just go through the motions, so they just go really, really slow. So a lot of people do get tight, and it looks good from here, but then it goes... <clears throat> then they finish off with this. Oh, I've gone fast now from like the knees up. So it's just... Oh, this all of a sudden... Well, it should be. So, so what we want to do is basically rip it off the floor. Still keeping all the technique in place, but moving it as fast as you can. So as you move up the weights, you're not going to be able to move it this fast when it's a weight that's heavy for you, but as long as you've got that intention of moving it as fast as you can, it's going to help you when you get to the heavier stuff, okay? So then, number four is bracing, okay? So a lot of people struggle with bracing. We've tried to get people doing breathing before, but it's something that you've just got to keep working on all the time. So some people, they'll brace, so by bracing, I mean filling your stomach with as much air as possible at the top, okay? Some people do it when they're stood up. Some people, I personally do it when I'm down there. Okay, it's just personal preference on that, of what you do. So, Carl, what do you prefer to do? Do you prefer to do it stood up when you're down there at the bottom? So when he's down there now, all he's trying to do is fill his belly with as much air as possible. Okay? Number one, it's helping protect his spine when he's pulling the bar up. Number two, again, it's creating that full body tension. Okay? So every time he puts that bar down, he's just thinking about resetting his stomach. Okay? Every time you put it down. If you're doing it on the first rep and then two, three, four, five, six, you're not bracing, you're missing out on getting more of that tension inside your body. Okay? Then what leads us on nicely to the fifth one is just full body tension. Okay? So what, what you're going to find on all these three lifts is that they're all about tension. The more tension you can create in your body, the more power you're going to be able to put on that bar. Okay? So when he's down here, he's screwing his feet into the floor, he's squeezing the bar as tight as he can, and he's bringing it up as fast as he can. 
Okay? Every single time. I know he's making it look a bit heavy now, but it's because it's a heavy weight for Carl. He's not really gone heavier than that for a long time. No, I'm not. Okay. It's true, I'm not going to lie. First rep was hard, <laughs> so I'm sweating. So simply, what I was going to do now is everyone's just going to get in maybe small groups. I'm not sure what the number is we've got. And we're just going to hit five reps and then go back. Me, Sean and Carl are just going to walk around, just go over these tips, okay? I've got some sheets printed off. Say you've forgot anything that I've just said, you can just have a look now, okay? So everyone just get on the bar, maybe three, four to a bar. Let's just start hitting some deadlifts, okay? Just sets of five, make sure everyone gets a go. What's up there? Nice. Nice. Up. There you go. It's better. Hips down a little bit. Tight. All right. Up. Oh, nice. There we go. There you go. See, see that there now? A lot better. So you're filling your belly up first. So the idea is when you're taking that deep breath and you fill your belly up, that's what you're doing at the bottom of the lift. You're filling your belly up. Try it again. There you go. That's better. Good. Much better. So pull your shoulders back and get nice and tight here. Right, rip it up. That's better. 